Hello, this is question 8 from the 2019 Ordinary Level Leaving Cert paper. Again, this we're on a section B question, so you get a, a large question with lots of information on the screen. But I will say, the questions probably aren't as difficult as some of the earlier questions in section A, which you get more marks for it. That's because students do worse on these sections. They get scared by how much information is on the screen. I would advise you take your time, see how many marks you're getting. That will tell you how much time you can deal with a question. Take your time, read it carefully, read it two, three times if needed. You can find a link to an image of this question in the description below. In part A, they give us this formula for P. They tell us P is power. They tell us T is torque and R is um, the engine speed, the RPM, the engine speed. And they give it, so they just give us this fairly simple formula. People get very confused by it, but it's a very simple one. Multiplying P equals divided by a number here. Then part one is one of the easiest questions you'll see in a leave insert. But again, students have difficulty because um, how much writing is in the question. It tells you there's 480 units of torque. They also told you torque was T. They tell you there's 250, uh, 2,500, uh, let me just check on that, 2,500 RPM. They told you OR was what RPM was. And they ask you to find the power. They tell you P is the power. So it's simply P is equal OR is 2,500. T is 480, and this number hasn't changed, divided by 5,252. And you can put that right into a calculator, you will get 228.48. But one last little thing, they asked you to give it to the nearest whole number. That is not a whole number, the nearest whole number would be 228. So that is the answer to part one. Part two is a fairly basic um, algebra question that you would have done the first one or two weeks in your Leaving Cert course. You would have even done it in your Junior Cert. They want you to rearrange this formula. So we have P is equal or T. I'll leave out the multiply sign. We don't usually write that. P is equal or T divided by 5,252. And they would like to rearrange this um, in terms of or, write or in terms of P, sorry, write or in terms of P and T, which means basically at the end they want or equals. Instead of P equals, they would like or equals. So that's what they'd like us to do. So let's, um, let's do it here, just so we have a little more room to work with it. P is equal or T over 5,252. Okay, so you want to get or on its own. First thing, actually, First thing so lot of students like to do is to change the equation. So this is on the left and this is on the right. You can do that if you want. Um, yeah, let's do that this time. Or T over 5,252 equals P. There's no real difference. I've just changed the direction. You can do that if you want. Now, you don't have to do that. But I have noticed a lot of students rather when um, the subject you're trying to get is on the left. But that's, it really doesn't matter too much. Okay, so if I want to get OR on its own, what's stopping me? Well, two things. T, I need to get rid of T, and I need to get rid of 5,252. They are both going to be just as easy, actually, because they're both only acting on the one term. But let's get rid of 5,200 first. OR T over 5,252 equals P. Let's multiply both of them by 5,252, and that will destroy that, and we're left with this side. Okay, I need to get rid of um, T now. So let's, uh, or T equals, um, let's write 5,252 P's, it's a bit more common to write that way. So I wanna get rid of T, let's just divide by T, divide by T, and that's it, that's our answer there. Or is equal 5,252 P divided by T. That is our final answer for that part. Let me just, yeah, it's the same as I got earlier. Okay, let's move on to part B. It's uh, completely different, so I'll rub out all of this and we'll start that.
Okay, I'll put the question back up on the screen. We have part B. A company was set up in January 2016 to repair engines. In the first month of its existence, the company made 4,000 loss. And the loss reduced by 250 a month for each month that the company traded. All right, so here I've put this information up on the screen. There was a table in part one that they filled out these three numbers for us. And they're asking us to fill out the rest. So this is the story they were telling us. They were telling us the company lost 4,000 in the first month. In month one, their profit was minus 4,000. So they lost 4,000. They said the loss reduced by 250. That's a bit confusing because it's a minus and a loss reduced. But loss reducing is actually a positive. So we're adding 250 onto that every month. So they've given us a couple of examples of that. Plus 250. Plus 500, two 250s got the hair. So they would just like us to fill out the rest of this. It just changes 250 every month. So 4,000, 3,750, minus 3,500, minus 3,250, minus 3,000, and minus 2,750. That's it, that's all you have to do with that question. You have to be able to take away 250. So nothing too difficult. All right, part B asks us to show that the profit that the company makes in month N. So the questions before now have been quite simple, actually. But now we're getting into a bit more difficult. Show the profit that the company makes in month N is given by the formula TN is equal to 250N minus 4,250. Okay, they want you to show this. Now, we have formulas for TN. We, you probably remember them. We have TN and SN. And we have them for geometrical and for arithmetic um, series, sequence of series. So you need to first of all notice that this is an arithmetic one. It, go, it changes um, by a constant number each time. We start with a starting number and it changes by 250 every step. So this is an aromatic sequence. Uh, we can look that up. We, yeah, this is a sequence here. We can look that up in our formula tables and get the formula. It will tell us Tn is equal to, I always forget this. What is it? It's A, oh, here it is. A plus N minus one times D. Where D is the change and A is the first term. So basically we just have to fill this out and hope it looks the same. So let's see if it does. First of all, we need to know what A is. A is equal minus 4,000, the first term. And D is equal to the change. How much is this changing? Don't get confused. It's not going down 250. Minus, minus, this number is getting bigger. Some, lots of students get confused for that. But this company is losing 4,000. Now it's only losing 4,750. So they actually made more money. So the number actually went up. 250 with up 250 every time think of it all the way down here when we get the zero and then we'll have 250 and then we'll have 500 it'll be much clearer to see that the number is in fact going up when we get to that world but still you do, you need to be able to understand that when it's in minus going up looks like this all right let's fill this in here we get tn is equal to minus 4000 plus n minus 1, we don't know what n is, we want n in our answer, remember, 250, so we don't need to know n yet. Right, so we, I guess we can multiply this out, uh, this is equal to minus 4000 plus 250n, minus 250 times minus 1 is minus 250, sorry, n I missed there. All right, let's add the like terms, all the n's together, there's only one of them, all the numbers together, ah, oh, here's two of them. Minus 4,000, um, minus 4,250, 4,000 minus another 250, plus 250N. And now that's, we're finished. That's the same as this. If you want, you can just rearrange it once more. I think maybe it's probably a good idea to do it once more. And there you go, you're finished. You've shown that this equals this. That was part two. Let's do part three. Uh, we might have room to do all of this here. Uh, probably not. We'll probably have to rope some of this out. But part three tells us what profit does the company make in January 2018? 
but they are helpful to us. They tell us that's month 25. So here's one, two, three, all the way up to six. If we just said going to 25, that's the number we want. But there's an easier way than doing all that. Lots of students do it though. If you have time in your exam and you don't know what else to do, you'll still get full marks. But the easy one is right here. Here is TN. TN is equal to this. This tells me every term. If I put one in, it'll tell me this number. If I put two, it'll tell me this. If I put six, it'll tell me this. And if I put um, 20, 25, sorry, I might have said 27. N is equal 25. So TN, which is what they're asking for, the term, the 20, I'm sorry, the 25th term, T25, is equal to 250 times 25. I'm just replacing 25 for the N, minus 4,250. And again, this is a job for a calculator. Just put that in and we will get 2,000. That's plus 2,000. So this company was losing money. For a long time but now we're definitely in month 25 they're now making money um all right so let's do part four part four asks us find the month in which the company breaks even so losing 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 at month 25 they're winning so when was the break even when was the bit in between and that's what you need to the bit you need to realize there is it's TN equals zero is what they're asking for. That's what break even, profit. This is the profit equals zero. The profit line here equals zero. So instead of TN, let's just write 250N minus 4,250 equals zero. We have an equation. There's only one thing we don't know, N. We can solve this equation. Okay, let's start moving things or destroying them depends how we say it so let's say add 4250 to both sides that will be destroyed and on this side 4250 will be added on to zero which is that let's divide 250 on both sides Div divided by 250 we get one n divide this side well let's just write it out divide by 250 Okay, um, you could, might be able to do that in your head. I will use a calculator though, and I did one earlier. If I divide this in, I get 17. So the 17th month. Always check your answer in any way you can. This one, we can make a rough guess. We can see six is minus this, 25 is plus this. Well, then the answer is probably somewhere in between. Somewhere in between 25 and 6. And 17 is somewhere in between. So that sounds good to me. If my answer came out as, as uh, 50, I'd say, wait, no, no. They're making money in month 25. So month 50, they should be making even more money. If the answer comes out as 4, I'd say, no, no, 4 is right here. That's not the right answer either. So try and use your common sense with some of these. You can often get extra marks for that. All right, part five, I'll rub this out and I'll fit it in over here. I didn't realize there's a part six as well, so I just rubbed everything out, giving us plenty of room. So in part five, they ask us to find SN, where SN, uh, the general term for the total profit the company makes after N months. So after one month, it's 4,000. After two months, it's not just 3,750. They lost in two months, so you have to add these together. And it would be 7,750. So S2 would be both of these added together. S3, all three of them are added together. Now, luckily enough, we have a formula for this. In sequence and series, this is a series now because we're adding them together. The, the sum for the series, the Sn is equal to our for, an arithmetic series. This is n over 2, 2a two plus n minus 1d. That's our arithmetic series. So if we put in any number we want, S1, we should get 4,000. S2, we should get 7,750. S5, we, I'm not sure what we should get. A bigger number anyway. So we need to check this for, I don't know, they just want this. They just want this general term. But they don't want A and D there. They would like real numbers in that term. They're happy to keep N, but they do not want A and D. So remember what A and D is, same as last part. A is minus 4,000. 
<clears throat> Make sure you get the minuses. That will give you wrong answers if you don't. Plus n minus 1 and d again is 250. Let's try and multiply this out a little bit. n over 2, we'll do this at the end. n over 2, um, 2 times 4,000 is minus 8,000. Plus, again, we multiply this in, we get 250n minus 250. Uh, we can put these guys together. We get n over 2 um, minus 8,250 plus 250, 250n. Now, that's actually good enough for the exam. That's the answer the marking scheme gives. Well, we can do a little more if we want. This is often a better way to leave it, it's factorized. But we can multiply this in, we get, uh, let's write the n squared first. n times n is n squared. So we get 250 n squared divided by two, minus, then let's do this one, n times a number is just a number times n. Uh, we get minus 8,250 n over two, and that would equal, Divide 2 in, 125 n squared minus, and what would that be? That would be 4,125 n. So that would be the final answer. But I think, like I said, I think the, the exam is happy to take this as an answer here. This one as an answer. Okay, let's do the last part, part 6. We're going to be using this, I believe. Hence or otherwise, find the total profit of the company at the end of January 2019, month 37. Now the reason they've gone such a big month is because they know students are able to just type minus 4,000, minus 3,000. Just type away in a calculator. You can get all the way to month um, 37, but they want to make it hard work for you. So you'll be there a long while. They might even ask for month 100, month 3,000. We can do any number we want with this. Whereas typing on a calculator will take a lot of time. But with this formula, let's use this last one here. With this formula, they've told us the month is 37. So they've told us N is 37. We just need to write this out. That's SN. So this is SN is equal. We could have an SN down here. SN is equal. Again, let me rub out the N there. S37 is equal 37 squared minus 4,100 and yeah 4,125 times 37 again this is a job for a calculator put that into a calculator be careful do it a couple of times make sure you make sure of your answer um, I would say just use brackets always put in the number in brackets and you should be okay but the answer comes out as 18,000 um, 500. 18,500 is the answer. That's uh, euros, I believe. You don't have to put in the unit, but it's often nice to do so. So that's all the questions answered. If you have, if you have any questions about anything I've done, please put them in the comments below. I will get back to you as soon as I can. And thanks for watching. Have a good day.